Brooke, we are here with Dirk Bentley at Joe's on Wheat Street, where it started in 2004, I think, with you and Cody Canada. Wow. Yeah, I was wondering. I was kind of putting together a set list for tonight. I was thinking I was pulling a song out from 2005. I thought it was around somewhere around then, but 2004 with Ragweed, huh? Yeah, wow. and then Cody goes on to name his kid after you. Yeah, well, we were the first, like, I think Pat Green played here, but we were the first kind of, like, Nashville country band to play Joe's uh, on Wheat Street. So it's always great coming back. Every time I come back here, it's like, Looks nicer. I mean, look at these TVs. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> place has changed a lot since we first came here. Yeah, big upgrade. So we've been talking about kids, and Brooke has a question because yes. she's been following you. So um, we were actually just talking about how some of your kids have a little bit of a, I guess, adventurous bone yep. in their body, which obviously stitches. they got from their father. Got some stitches waiting on me when I get home tomorrow. Got to well, take one of them in. And that's my question because we saw the video that you posted on your Instagram of getting to see your daughter get her ears pierced. Yeah, Things same one. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that, um, those little moments that – you know, a lot of parents get to see every single day, and obviously you're on the road, and you're busy, and you're traveling, and you're working. Those moments are so precious to you, right? They are. I mean, one of the greatest things about this is, like, this will be another example. It's like you go from the stage and shotgun and beers and acting crazy, and the next day you're literally, like, taking a pen and drawing where the <laughs> earring should go at, at uh, Claire's, you know? like <laughs> yeah. And, like, you're, like, doing crazy, like, stuff that uh, I, I just love being able to get to do both that, you know, both live in both those worlds. So I've always, that's why I've always liked that song, Burning Man, because it feels like, I'm a little bit this, a little bit that, you know, right. holy water, burning man. And uh, that's part of the appeal of the whole thing is just being get to live two lives. I love, right. You know. Well, and then, I mean, burning man, that's a really good segue into CMAs this year. Nominated yeah. for three awards. I am. Never gets old, right? No, it's <laughs> it's hard to get nominated. It really is. I mean, you think about these categories. There's just five people. I mean, I could name five five guys as male vocalists. I'm, that's just a hard category to be with all these new guys coming up like Luke Combs and Kane Brown and you know it's just uh, it's, an, it's tough to be in those, those categories so I don't take it lightly it means a lot um, so I don't think I'm going to win so I'll just go ahead and say I thank you to my fans you. I voted for you appreciate all my fans out there love you guys <laughs> thanks mom <laughs> Jesus, thank you. And did you you really go to Claire's to get the ears done? Claire's right in the mall. Oh Old my school. gosh! Oh, yeah, we're right in the Claire's, and we get the, the the Claire's will do the two guns at once. So my daughter, who will have to get stitches with, for tomorrow, she's rollerblading and split her chin, split her chin open. Um, she doesn't really like this pain stuff, so she had them do the earrings at the same time. So one person here, oh, one yeah. person there. go. Uh, so Claire's does that. So shout out to Claire's. And they let me do the, the mark. They let me mark where to put them, which I appreciate. Hashtag not an ad. Yeah. <laughs> is Seven Peaks coming back next year? It is. Um, it was so successful this year. So much fun, and uh, already lining up people for next year. And actually, I was just hanging out last night with Travis Tritt, and uh, he was talking about you know how how fun the '90s night was, how the whole you know the whole festival has this bohemian bohemian like kind of vibe to it, but also. Just it's so intentful as far as the who we select for acts and the fan experience. So everyone loves it. That's been part of it, and I can't wait to go back. And you got a, a little fine for doing something that you weren't supposed to. I did. Yes, Trav <laughs> actually, Travis. Last night we were hanging out, and uh, he pulled he pulled his wallet out and started going. He was like, "Hang on, I gotta give you something." Carlos going through his money, gave me two twenty dollar bills. I'm like, he goes, "That's so you get a stamp for your trout pass next time on your fishing <laughs> license." So. The story is, is making its way around, but uh, yeah, we uh, there's a little creek on there. We did a little fishing, and uh, Luke had gone the first day and caught one, so and bragged about it on stage. So the next night, when I was headlining, I had to go fish that day, and I caught four, and I had to brag about that. And uh, the, uh, the 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 po didn't necessarily really like that. So well, at least you manned up. You manned up. I beat and, Luke. You know, I mean, that's it. I because paid my fine, and I beat Luke. So. In, in I'm very cognizant that you are a conservationist at heart, so he's, I didn't he's stress singing about singing now. He's, he, he sings "Hunt and Fish and Love Every Day." He's, you know, "Hunt and Fish and not not as good as Dirks." Love and every day. It's kind of worked into the song, so which I yeah. appreciate him recognizing my superior fishing skills. Did you fly in yourself tonight? I did fly in myself tonight. Yeah, I actually, I, I'm gonna. I think I, I sat in the back of the plane with the guys and uh, worked on the show tonight because we haven't played a show in a while. So this is like our, and we haven't played a club show in a really long time, which is so fun. The stage is like. Uh, little, it's, it's small, little. So, <laughs> and I know we had a lot of fans here probably that came to our show we played earlier in Chicago at, uh, this this summer at a uh, casino. So, we just wanted to change up the set list. So we've been working a lot on just making the show unique for them. So I actually didn't I didn't fly. I just sat in the back, which is nice, and uh, worked on the set list. Well. On behalf of Big 95.5, Dirks, thanks so much for doing Thank this. You guys. We truly believe in the mission of the Riser Foundation. Thank you. I know that that's been an important thing from the time we went on a motorcycle ride. It and is. it ended up here. It's awesome. It's hopefully it'll be something that goes national at some point. I mean, the organization is, but 
Well, we're just trying to give uh, these kids that are, in, you know, some other schools in Nashville. Nashville's growing a lot, and like, how do we, uh, you know, make sure these other kids are getting the same advantages that um, some of the private schools are getting? So it's been a really great program, and uh, it keeps expanding. So I appreciate all the help that you guys are doing tonight. Well, I mean, every dollar from tonight going oh, yeah. to the Riser Amazing. Foundation. Amazing. So, so win-win situation for us. So. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate you so much. Dirk Bentley, our Back to the Bar show. If you guys are not here, you're watching this on social media somewhere. Keep an eye on our Instagram, our uh, Facebook. We'll be posting all the videos and behind the scenes from tonight. But we love y'all. Dirk, do you want to say hi to everybody who came yeah, here? Yeah, thank you so much for uh, watching online. And uh, we'll be back, I'm sure, soon. We love playing this place. And uh, I have a feeling there's going to be some, some fun happening here next year as well. So come back and see us. Look at that teaser right there. <laughs> see you guys.